Hello everyone, welcome back. In the previous lecture, we see how to create the loss function. Now let's see like you know how to create the gradient descent algorithm in the tensor flow. So let's create the first, let's try to understand the formulations, what we need to do. As we know that the form initial, as we know that this is what we're trying to build on case, we need, we got the cost function and that cost function we need to pass to our gradients and update those values. So we need to compute the gradient here and once we got the gradient, this is what the formulations we need to apply in our case. So the initial value A will be the initial value of A, which represents with I and uh, uh, the gradient of with the SSE with respect to A into the learning rate is what we need to perform in this case. So let's put the dollar sign and get the value and get uh, the uh, formula representation. So this is what I just want to create. And similarly, and similarly for uh, with respect to my B, this is what the formula I need to apply apply here. Similarly for B, we got the B and initial value of B, and we need to compute that gradient of SSC with respect to B into the learning rate. So that's what uh, you know we need to compute in our case now. So let's see how to build this. Let's create a function and create a train function. What I'm having with me is the model and inputs are there with me, outputs are there with me and uh, comma learning rate. So let me, I need to specify the learning rate is you need to specify by the user. Okay, so to just try to understand that we got the inputs and this inputs I converted tensor here. But I did not just convert my original values of output. I just want to convert that original values of tensor here. So let's convert the tensor value. Let's let's convert that into let's convert outputs into tensor. So my output y. This is what my y true values. Y true values, which is equal to tf dot convert to tensors. I just want to convert that into tensor, and uh, uh, that is what the outputs which I'll get. Fine, cool. So now let's see how to apply the gradient descent. Tensor flow has a special function called gradient tape. Gradient tape will calculate the gradient will calculate the gradients at any particular values of A and B or any particular values of the weights. So let's initialize the gradient with tf dot gradient tape. The TF dot gradient tape as G. So let's calculate the current loss now. What is the current loss at any particular iteration? Let's calculate the current loss. And the current loss is that this is the loss function. And let's let's say that you know we got uh, the true values and uh, loss function of the true values. I need to specify the true values and the predicted values. Okay, predicted values. I need to compute from the model. So predictor values is the model we need to we got the model here from the model I'll calculate the predicted values and so of x by passing the inputs to it I'll get the predicted values in tensor is the output which will return in the tensor. So cool. So we got the, the gradient we got the current loss at that particular gradient. Now let's calculate the change in values, change in values of A and change in values of B with respect to G, and like you know, with respect to A and also with respect to B. Okay, now what we need to do is that we need to find out the gradient, gradient of with respect to the current loss, and the model parameters are model dot A and model dot B. So model dot A and model dot B are the values, like you know, in the in our model we define that. In our model, we define that self dot a, self dot b, or the model dot a and the model dot b are the parameters here. Right. So what we got in this case is that we got da and db. Da represents that derivative or gradient of SSC with respect to a, and db represents gradient of SSC with respect to b. So we got the two values. So the finally, what we need to do is that we need to update the values. So how to update the values is it's simple, like you know, we already had with the model model dot a dot sub uh, assigned sub 
what is a sign sub? A sign sub is actually subtraction, subtracting your values. What it is trying to do is that, okay, this is subtracting, not addition. This is the subtraction. Sorry, please. And this is the subtraction. So we need to do the subtraction here, assign subtraction of DA into learning rate. I need to specify the learning rate here. So into the learning rate. I'm sorry. This is into the learning rate. Similarly, let us assign the values of model B and assign the values. It's if you are adding the value or if you are subtracting the value, it's up to you. But here in our case, our formula change is that we need to con we need to find out the convergent point. So that's why we are subtracting our values. And this is D a DB into learning rate. So that's it. So this is what the gradient descent algorithm and also the training loop iteration we need to follow in the tensor flow. We'll continue in the next lecture and fitting our linear model. Thank you very much.